What's up, guys? Welcome to the Christian Vasquez Show, episode number nine. I got two of my fighters on the show tonight. That's right. Two of the top fighters, amateur fighters in the country and New York. Colin Bam Bam Clark. What's up, Colin? What's up, guys? And Blake Big Shot Hendershot. What's How's it up? How's it going? How's yeah, it going? we're here. We're here. So we're going to introduce you guys to them. I want you guys to get to know who they are because they will turn pro eventually. Right now, we're going through the amateur ranks with them, building up their pedigree, building up their skill. And, uh, you know, when we turn pro, we'll be absolutely ready to take over. Um, so, Colin, what's up, man? What's up, guys? I'm, my name is Colin Bam Bam Clark, fighting at 165. Right now, we're getting ready for the North Carolina Golden Gloves. Very excited to get this going, you know. It's been a year since I fought. My last fight was in the Ringmasters tournament, the Golden Gloves, the New York tournament. And we got to the finals, but COVID actually shut us down. So, we were, we're planning on going pro, but right now is not the time. So what we're doing right now is we're doing these Carolina gloves and, you know, get the ball rolling with this stuff. So that's right. That is what it is. Yeah, Carolina gloves. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to take a big team, about six six fighters from the gym, Strong Island Boxing Gym. That's my gym. And uh, we're going to go down and we're going to take that. We're going to take that whole tournament. And uh, he's fighting at 165 in that tournament. Mm, 165. Yep. So whoever's out there thinks that they're going to, you know, come to the Carolina Golden Gloves and do anything, you're going to have to go through big boy right here. And Blake yep. is coming with us too. This tournament, Blake Blake normally fights at one seventy six, but he's having a growth spurt. This boy, he's seventeen years old, but he's a he's a big boy. Big boy. Yeah, man. So yeah. he's at he's at like two oh six right now, right? Something like that. Two oh five. Two oh five, and he's gonna fight at two oh one. Not super heavy, but regular heavy, just for this tournament. Till he gets back down to see where he's gonna see where he stays at because he keeps growing. So how do you feel about you know competing in the Carolina Golden Gloves? Well, I feel great. I'm finally be able to step in there. It's been a while since I fought. Um, definitely gonna need to step in there. Rather, if I'm at 200 or 170, doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, just to get the experience in, just to get in there and finally just move around with someone, actually like fight. You yeah. Know? In front of a crowd, competition, yeah. something's on the line. Yeah. So your last fight though was in the nationals, right? My last fight was in uh, Eastern Regionals to go to Tokyo. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And then before that was the nationals. Yeah. Right. And so what you placed in the nationals? I got third. Third place, okay. And then you ended up becoming ranked in the nation, I think number three at the 176 weight class in your yep. division. So that's a big, that's big. That's real yep. big. Um, and then the Easter Regionals, you won or you? I lost that. You, you lost I got that third, one. I got third in that too. Third in that one as well. So that's good. I mean, look, this is all experience. And I know the guys you fought had a lot more experience in, than you at the time. Um, a lot more fights. So, yeah. you know, you were going there for the experience. Hopefully, you, you know, you were going to win. But these are big stages for you at the time. Yeah. You know, you never fought on that stage, so yeah. it was definitely a, um, a challenge, but you did well. You know, both of you guys, I'm proud of you guys. Both have had these guys for, I'm going to say about four years now. Longer than that. Longer, damn, time 2016, flies. 2016, 2015. Six, yeah. Really? 56, it's been a while. Years. Yeah. Five, six years, man. Yeah. I've been with these kids since they yeah. were younger. Little boy, they look like little <laughs> little chumps, not in men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, but I'm excited about both these guys, man. Um, I really am. I see, uh, I see big things happening for them in the future. Absolutely, professional ranks. They're gonna, they're gonna be dominant, definite contenders. So promoters out there, just know that we're coming, and uh, we want the cake too. Give me my deal. <laughs> we want the cake too. All right, no chump change. Yeah. You know, we're gonna put on a show. Um, yeah, man. So let's talk about it. Did you guys actually capture? Capture? Did you catch the fight last night, Jake Paul and? Uh, oh yeah, dude. I don't, I don't like that guy at all, man. Nah. Nah, man. Boxers work too hard, dude. You got to earn your shit. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't earned a goddamn thing, dude. You're right. And you know what? He's getting paid big bread. Which is good. I, I and The business side of it, I'm cool. Make all the money you want, but don't don't act like you're a real boxer. Yo, dude, people train their whole life for this shit. Mm -hmm. And Jake Paul steps in, in the ring, dude, and he's getting paid higher than some top dogs right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's right. getting what did he just make? Six hundred and eighty thousand. Six hundred something thousand, yeah, yeah. Six hundred and eighty thousand. And he's fighting a bum. Bums. So his first fight was versus a YouTube celebrity, whatever. Another YouTube star. Mm -hmm. So that was like a YouTube to me, a YouTube championship. Not a boxing fight. Because yeah. he didn't fight they're not, not neither one of them are boxers. They don't have no amateur pedigree, no experience. Yeah. You can step in the gym and train. It doesn't mean you're a boxer. So you fight all the boxes and prove yourself. So after that, people were like, all right, who's this kid on who's this YouTube star? Cool. It was interesting. You know? I make your money. Do your thing. Yo, one thing that that I gotta appreciate that he does with boxing is he works hard. 
Right. That he does work hard. Yeah. He puts his work in. But, but he's, then it's, he's putting on a big show, and that show is just bullshit. Yeah. It's and then all he, bullshit. And he fights Nate Robinson as his, as his second opponent. Now, Nate Robinson's a basketball player. So it's still a basketball player. It's still not a boxing fight. Right or wrong? It's not no, a boxing crazy. fight. It's not a boxing fight. So he wins that by a devastating knockout. Good. You should have knocked him out. He's a lot smaller than you. And then he then after that, he started talking like, I'm the real deal. I'm a real boxer. I do this. I work hard. So yeah, I get it. You do this and you work hard, but bro, don't don't overstep your your lane yet. Yep. Fight a couple real fighters, real boxers with real talent. Then we could give you that respect, but I respect him as a YouTube celebrity brawler that's making money and bringing some excitement, but then he's acting like he's a boxer. That's my thing with him. I'm not a hater at all. I want people to succeed in life, and I want Jake to, to succeed, but I also want him to step in there with when real When he fights a boxer, boxer, he becomes a boxer. That's it. In his last that's fight, he fought, a, he fought an MMA wrestler. With no stand-up that's washed up. Askren's a washed-up MMA fighter who's a Out wrestler. Out of shape. Out of shape. He came so in. He, looked, he had the dad bod to the fullest. Doesn't he have, like, the <laughs> fastest knockout in, like, UFC history? He got knocked he out. He got knocked out. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, his stand-up isn't good. Yeah. It's it hard, no, like, horrible. Yeah. And he, see, you know, look You good. can tell he's like this when he stands. He's like, hit, he's like hit me. Yeah. And Please. Jake Paul's stand-up isn't good either. He's fucking wide. You know, he's slow. He you got hit. Yo, the coming. first the first 20 seconds, Askren caught him with like a, a, a three-piece. Yeah. I was like, okay. Oh. All right. It was crazy. And I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. But then it looked like he just laid down. But, um, you know, my thing is this. Step in there with one of my boys. Step in there with a Colin. Step you in don't want to do that. Step in there with a Blake. You know, kids, guys that have been in it for at least five years, they don't even have a ton of amateur, uh, ton of amateur um, experience, but they've been in the gym, they've been doing it, and this is real boxers right here that are on the rise. Once they turn pro, you give them an opportunity, and I bet you, you'll see how good of a boxer you are. All right, Colin, what would you do to Jake? I would honestly take his head off. Yeah, I'd take his head off. I just Jake would- is Jake is nothing. He he don't understand. What it's like to fight a real boxing fight. Yeah, he has no idea what Spar- it feels. He has no idea what it feels to be tired and hopeless in there. Yeah, he has no idea to go to go into deep waters. He has no idea what it's like. Right. And I take him in. I wouldn't even take him into deep waters. I'd finish him early. I'd finish him early, dude. Yeah, I know. Take his head right off. Yeah. I wouldn't even let him feel that pain. You're just going to sleep. That's yeah. it. Going to sleep. Yeah, and he thinks that sparring. Is uh, you know the real thing? Sparring is not the real thing. Sparring is a very low energy compared to the competition. When you actually step in the ring for competition, it's two different things. Um, Blake, what what would you do to Jake? I'd probably work his body a lot. Yeah, hurt him to the body. You yeah, know, hurt his ribs. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people like you can take shots to the head, but the body shots what really hurts people. You know, yeah. like hitting them, knock the wind out of them. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna. He's not, he's not, he hasn't been like uncomfortable in there, mm-hmm. you know, make him feel uncomfortable. Kind of like what Mayweather did to Connor, right? Yeah. He like made him feel uncomfortable. He yeah. switches, he switched his style multiple times. And the next thing you know, he stopped Connor, you know? Yeah. That's kind of. I mean, would you, do you think you beat uh, Jake? Yeah. Easy. I, I would, I would try and like box him, make him look like a fool and then like stop him. Right. You Absolutely. Know? And that could happen. Both of these guys will do that. I, I feel like Jake, he needs to be put to sleep. Yeah. Plain and simple. And, and, he's putting everybody to sleep. He's showing everybody this <laughs> sparring stuff. Yeah. His knockouts and sparring, all that stuff. But yo, I want to make him. He look needs silly. to go to sleep. That's it. He's going to sleep. <laughs> night, <laughs> night, 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 Jakey. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be great, man. So enough of Jake. Look, Jake, we wish you the best, man. I know you're watching this. Um, if you ever want to get some real sparring, come hit us up. Come check us out, Strong Island Boxing. If you even want to challenge these kids. Let us know, man. Give us a call. But outside of that, um, we got a lot of things coming up. We got a lot of good fights coming up, too. Mm-hmm. You know, aside from uh, what we talked about, we got Canelo versus Saunders. That's going to be a good fight. Yeah. But I honestly don't I, I don't think anyone's on Canelo's level. Me either. Billy Joe is a tricky fighter, you know, Southport. And, you know, he has that that flashy style. You know, he's quick and, he, yeah. and he's crafty. He steps around people a lot. But Canelo, man, he's just on a different level. Yeah, explosive. Makes it look level. easy too. Yeah, he's so so on point. His, his defense, 
Perfect. He's so tight and powerful that Fast. you don't you don't even know what to expect. Yeah. If he, his radar is amazing, his range, his explosive power. It's just different. His speed. Yeah, he's different. Just he's different. And, and level. You know, he actually changed too. Like he definitely improved after losing to Floyd. Yeah, yeah. he just like leveled up. Was like he's like, his oh. defense went through the roof. Right, because he said, Wait, this shit worked on me. Yeah. Uh, he had that he a lot of the stuff he does is Floyd stuff. Yeah. Those pullbacks, pullbacks, shoulder rolls. But you know what? You know, that's 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 defense. You know, you gotta have defense and he offense. leveled up in the game after fighting Floyd. He definitely did. And he's been leveling since then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He trains hard. You know what? He's been increasing his power crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What did he go to light light heavyweight to fight Kovalev? Mm-hmm. Stopped Put, him. Stopped him, dude. Yeah. Stopped him. Stopped him. And then what he, his last fight, oh, he fought that big dude. K, um, uh, Yoda Rim or something like that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Damn, I the Turkish him. guy. Yeah. Turkish I know dude. Oh, yeah. About. Oh, my God. That was a wash. Yeah, that was a wash. Beat the crap But the last two guys were washed up. They didn't belong yeah. to him. You know, Cal- Canelo's smart with, with his marketing and his promotion and... He he he's taken after Floyd really is. Yeah, you know? man. I mean, look, that's the name of the game. You take the fights as they come, and then you take a big fight. You know, take a couple fights, take a big fight. Mm-hmm. You want to you want to last in this industry, you know, longevity. And um, you know, I, you know, you know the fight that I would love to see Canelo. I would love to see Joe Smith beat Better Beef, become the unified light heavyweight champion, and then Canelo come in for a super fight to try to take. All three belts. That'd be great. from him. That would be crazy. That would be great. You know what? I think Joe could clip his shit. Hell too. yeah! I think Joe will catch him. If with Joe a hits him once. He's done. Right hand. Fuck yeah. I think Joe will put his ass to sleep. I think so but too. You, That's why you, I want that fight. Is he for fast Joe. enough to catch him though? If Joe keeps his range, he's long. If yeah. he just jabs and keeps Canelo at range, jabs and lines him up with that right, he could do it. I, don't I think, think Canelo would be scared to yeah, take I don't that. Th- shit. I don't think he would fight him. Yeah, I think Canelo he would, be would be scared. That's too. That's too dangerous. Too dangerous. Mm-hmm. Too, too dangerous for Canelo. You know, Canelo, you know, he he knows it ta- only takes one shot. One shot. That's right. That's it. And you don't want to go in there with a big boy like Joe who's been hurting everybody. Everybody who st- he stepped in the ring with, he hurts. Their face gets he, messed up. You don't want to do Anyone. that. Anyone. Yep, they get rocked. You know, like Bivo. Bivo, you know, definitely outboxed him. I feel like that fight, though, Joe tried too many different new things in there. I think he should have stuck to what was working him, instead yeah. of trying different things. That fight. You know, because it was, was like the, he was trying this shoulder thing. But you know yeah. what? Joe still hurt him. He, that's, yeah. that's why you my know? point was after the fight. The guy was like, "Yeah, he he rocked his world." And it, he hasn't even fought since. since then. He hasn't fought since. To me, that's like damn. Either everybody else is ducking him. There's no money fights, or he's questioning his jaw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after it's like damn, maybe I don't want to fight no more. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah, Joe, shout out to Joe winning the world title. We're super fans over here, man. We love you from the neighborhood. You know, I got to work with you. We have history in this game, and I just want to see you do. I want to see you become unified and do big things, man. You deserve it. So, um, on to the next. De La Hoya is coming back. He is. Yeah. Oh wow. De La Hoya's been training too. You haven't seen any of his training videos? No, I haven't. He's been working hard. Yeah. Yep. He's in L.A. He's in. I don't know what gym he's in, but there was video of him shadow boxing fast, like. Rip. He looks, looks good. good. He looks good. You know, oh, wow. De La Hoya is, you know, he's a great fighter. Yeah, yes. he's good. You know, he's just older now, and he looks like he's leaning up. Absolutely. Right, he knows that that thriller shit, that's where the money's at. So, you know, at. he has to come well, back for that. he sees Tyson coming back. Well, that's and... what he said last night. They said that last night. He's like, um, they asked him, uh, why, why are you coming back? What, you know, what, what motivated you? He's like, Mike Tyson. Mike shit. Tyson, man. He did it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to fight the best. Because I'm Oscar De La Hoya. I fight the best. You should have seen him last night. That's great. He was That's on funny. fire. What do you think about that fight? What do you think he's going to do? He's going to come back and be successful? I hope. I think he's definitely got the experience and he's quick. <laughs> and he's got the good movement. But. One thing he got is heart. He has heart. He has heart, dude. But is it enough, though, to fight like a younger fighter who's coming But up? I don't think he's even going to do that. I think it's going to be an exhibition, you know, same thing like Mike. Yeah. I don't think he put himself in those shoes again to, to really fight some yeah, top I don't, dogs. Or, I don't think he's that hungry still. I, nah, he fight, seemed hungry to, last night. Yeah? But yeah, he but, Go ahead. What? I feel like it's a different hunger, though. Like, he wants to get in there and, like, move around with someone. Yeah. Whereas Money, man. It's different from, like, you know, going in there and fighting someone. Yeah. You know? Well, he, he was saying last night, um... You know, I do want to fight the best, whether it be boxing, and then he slipped in there, or MMA. You know, so, yeah. so like, to me, yeah. I'm like, okay, maybe he'll fight, like, a, 
a decent MMA fighter and I, and I, you know make him look bad. He's a smart dude. He's gonna get it lined up the right way where you can make big bucks. You know, yeah, yeah. he'll get it right. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a good lane for even you guys. Like we build up your YouTube presence, your online presence. You know, social media. You know, um, and and, and then eventually challenge. You know, YouTube people. Cause oh yeah, hey, man. Other YouTube fighters that are building up their stuff, you put them together and there's money to be made. You know, you could make money right away with this now. Things are changing. Social media is changing the game. Yeah, it really is. You know? It's taking over. Yeah, there's a company out in Long Island. I don't really want to mention names, but they're going to start a, a new promotion company out here. Um, and I think they're going to take more, they're going to go that lane yeah. of how Trill is working. And they're known too. They're well known. They're going to do this with boxing. Some, and... Boxing, yeah. They're going to okay. you know start bringing in some YouTube influencers, do some celebrity stuff, but also incorporate amateur boxers and um, you know professional is fighters. It, this is pro stuff? Or... Okay. Pro stuff, yeah. So I look hey, forward. we'll tell them. Yeah, no. Nah, we're we're, we're, we're going to yeah. get involved with that. Yeah. Absolutely. De La Hoya's coming back. Holyfield's coming back. Oh, Holyfield. He looks Field. good. I saw a picture. He looks pretty good. He looks good. really good. That's yeah. one mean dude right there. <laughs> yeah. That's one he's mean He's got dude. he's got heart. That yeah. Was, and he works hard. Like he's it. always worked hard. Yeah. You know, Heavy hitter right there, you know. Yeah. You gotta be careful with him. Yeah. That one thing that separated Holyfield over the over his whole career was his conditioning. Yeah. He he was in amazing shape. You ever seen his son? You know what? I did see him fight like on an he ESPN. He fights at I think one fifty two, but he's like six foot something. Is man. he good? He's tall. Yeah, you know he's crafty. He's is he really... undefeated? Is he still? I think he is undefeated. Yep. Okay, they're yeah, working him up good. He's then. really big. Yeah, he's he looks good. All right, there's a couple pro fighters that their kids are fighting, like Fernando Vargas. Shout out to Fernando oh, Vargas. Oh yeah, his boys are looking sharp. Mm-hmm. They work hard. Em- Emilio Vargas, I think the yeah, kid's name is. He's on. really sharp, really crafty. I see him beating dudes up and sparring all the time. Yeah. You know, I even watch some of his stuff, you know, and put that in sparring or whenever I fight, you know, he, kid is good. He's sharp. Yeah, he's sharp. He's got a good uh, pedigree. His father was a great, great fighter. You know, he had some good uh, pay-per-view action fights for sure. Uh, Who did he fight? He fought um, not Tito. Did he fight Tito Trinidad? I don't, I don't really I don't know. know. They don't, they, they, I should know this, but I don't know it right now. I can't remember. <laughs> All right. But anyway, so that's it. That's that. What else is going on, guys? Let's kick it. Much man, you know, just getting ready for these North Carolina Golden Gloves. We're training hard right now. Yeah, ready to take this. As a matter of fact, today, um, I was Blake wasn't around, but I took Colin, I took Jess and Brian to Unique Fitness. They got a facility it was you could do a lot of strength and conditioning there. So we had a two hour strength and conditioning training session just to build up on their explosiveness, their speed, their agility, their their overall stamina. So how was it? How did you, you like that? Oh, man, I, I really enjoy doing that stuff. You know, I feel like you get stronger and you get more explosive while doing stuff like that. You know, it's all like fast twitch or whatever Christian does. And, you know, you're in, he he helps you build your endurance. You know, he's that's one thing he's really good at. He's really good at personal training and strength and conditioning. And, you know, it's all next level stuff. Help you get to, get to that next level. And it really helps. You know, it, it transitions to fighting great. You know, yeah, you, you just get to that next level. Yeah, was, nothing more I could really say about it. It just gets you to that next level. Yeah, definitely helps. Gotta get Blake on there too. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna before the Carolina gloves. We're gonna do at least six more sessions like that. Right. You know, incorporated with our skill training, just going over, you know, um, the plan. You know, the plan of attack. Because mm-hmm. I think well, I want to go down there. I want to be more dominant. You know, I want to box, but I want to be more aggressive. Putting people out. Yeah, so. I want to step to them. You know, I don't I want, think they're used to that down there. I really don't. I think New York is just different. Different yeah, New type York of fighters, animals. Yeah. Just, yeah. We get dirty no, with no matter what. I'm a, I'm a, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fighter, dude. Like yeah. those guys, they, they don't know what it's like to spar hard and, mm-hmm. and be yeah, in there with like some to, dogs. Like yeah. just different level stuff, man. Just yeah. different level. Absolutely. Absolutely. How about we talk about some Caleb Plant? You know, I look up to that dude. He's a like cool him. dude. He's yeah. good. He works He's hard. sharp. Caleb, I've been telling these guys to watch Caleb for a long time. He is show, super sharp. Yeah, so Caleb is sharp, nasty. Man. One of the best fighters out right now. World champion, Caleb Plant. You guys got to watch him. combinations are insane. Yeah. Combinations K- are crazy. The way he's yeah. in and out, though. I, you see, that's one thing I like about Caleb. He knows how to get in and out. Yep. You know, and when he when he stays in, he knows when to stay in. But for the most part, he's in and out. When he fought that dude um, for the world title, the bigger dude he fought. Yeah. What was his name? I think what's I'm his name? I'm not good with Benavidez names. Benavidez is about to fight him now. They're gonna, I don't think Benav- that's signed. 
No, it is. I think it's on Showtime right now. Yeah, right. Showtime Boxing. Um, Let me check that I think, out. Yeah, I think Benavides is going to fight him. And you know what? I think... I think Benavidez kind of slapped his last fight. If you watch that, yeah, I didn't yeah. even I didn't watch that one to be honest with you. He, you know what? He looked in shape, but he didn't perform how he used to perform. Yeah, and I don't like, know what it was. With a lot of numbers, he threw he throws a lot of punches. Mm -hmm. he, he stays throws a super lot busy. Of punches, but I don't know what it was. But I think Caleb Plant will take over that division. But he you already Caleb beat him. He did. He's a world champ. He, you know, I know, but you know what? Dog. I think he's gonna beat just everyone. But but. Honestly, with Canelo being at one sixty eight, I don't think no one's gonna be Canelo. No Not one's that gonna, no one is gonna no. even. I mean, talk. look, you still got Charlo. Yeah, but you got what well, Charlo moved up to sixty eight. I'm just saying he... that because they because they can fight. I mean, yeah. they can is always... he gonna fight Charlo though? I mean, uh, I think eventually for you know big payday. Who down Canelo? The line. Yeah, I think Canelo will walk through Charlo. He don't even yeah. want to fight him. Yeah, I think so. I think he beats Charlo. Absolutely, I think he destroys Charlo. Yeah. Yeah, he does. And that's no disrespect to Charlo, but Canelo, man, he's just on a different level. Yeah, he's yeah, he's too good. Yeah, absolutely. He's too good. So we got Caleb Plant. There's a lot of good fighters out there. Oh, we got a lot of good fights coming up. Young Cats. Let's talk about the young Davis cats. is about to get it in. Who's he fighting? I forget the dude's name, but you know, it, it's always a show when he fights. Always spectacular yeah. knockouts. Yeah, you, know, you never know yeah. when he's going to drop. Never, you never know when he's going to drop someone. Yeah. But you know, he gets hit a lot. He, he does. Gets, he does. But get that's hit what a makes lot. it exciting. But though. yo, dude, yo, he's an entertainer for sure. Yeah, I feel like him getting his what makes it exciting. It's yeah, like, man, oh, he's gonna he lose, gonna lose, and knocks it him out. Yeah. Remember that last knockout? Oh, put what was it? Uh, Le uh Leo Santa Cruz. Leo Santa we Cruz. thought he was yeah, gonna lose Leo the whole Santa fight, Cruz. and then boom with He's, an uppercut. He timed him out. it. He see, yeah. he t he figured out Santa Cruz's style. He figured out his timing, and he said, "Okay, I'm gonna let him throw that. I'm gonna dip to the left, bonk uppercut right up." Yeah, you want? How about the Pavek knockout against Dillian White? You oh, seen that? The uppercut that was that had to have been knockout of the year. That you was know? last year though, right? No, that was this year, I think. Yeah, well, because they fought two weeks ago. Yeah, they just fought again, and, 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 White, beat, and White beat him. Pavetti, you know, that's what a comeback. That's that's honestly my favorite heavyweight right now. Who? And I, Dillian White. Yeah, you like Dillian White? Dude, he's know. all about maximum violence. You know, he comes forward and he's ready. He's <laughs> he ready just to, likes the yo. Shout out to Dillian White, man. He's ready to take over anything, and that's my favorite heavyweight. Give him a shot against AJ or Fury, and I guarantee you, he's gonna come out on top. I don't know about Fury. Fury. Yeah, Fury's, Fury's nah, dude. Fury's yo, good. Dillian yeah, White, no, yo, know. you know, you, yo, you're seeing this right now. You nah. know, you're coming out on top uh, <laughs> I, I think fury moves too well and he's too big yeah fury is the best in the division Fury's right definitely now. yo he's definitely good but i don't know i just believe in that i believe in that dude dillian white man i believe in him no uh, doubt no doubt man he's good he's exciting to watch too yep. he's powerful very exciting we got our uh, chris colbert versus yorkie gamboa yeah what another that's sharp dude a, that's right a there. step up that's a step up for him you yeah. know because yorkie even though he hasn't really won his last few fights he's always in those fights yeah he's always in those he fights. just fought haney and he absolutely destroyed him though because you know Haney's he's in prime shape you know it was close though not close I'm just saying he, nah, he, I think I think it was what, competitive for a little I while I think the problem was he tore his what uh his um, yeah but that was the fight before I believe it wasn't the Haney fight where he tore when he, when he fought Gervonta he he messed up his leg yeah that oh, was Gervonta and that was a good fight when he fought Gervonta he was landing a lot of shots against him yeah no he so was, he was he, he definitely opened up Gervonta Yorkie's know? a definitely a, a contender somebody who still even at his old age poses a threat poses yeah, a problem he's, a he's got power he's a vet and Chris Colbert taking his fight I give him props at such a you know young play, young place in his career but uh, definitely Colbert, Chris Colbert's biggest fight that's his biggest fight right now yeah and you know I'm good. excited to see that because you know he's from New York Hell yeah. He's a very exciting fighter. He's very sharp, very quick. You just you just don't know what to expect from him. You know, I think he can put him out. Yeah, but Chris is, to me is like one of the closest young fighters that possess a Floyd athleticism. Definitely, you know, he's got similar speed, movement, defense. You know, Richardson Hitchens as well, very similar. But to me, Colbert has the speed edge. Yeah, and he's and he's stopping people. Yeah, he is. He's stopping people. You don't got a big frame neither. He's just you know. But he, but he knows how to punch. Very sharp, very quick. Yeah. He mixes uh, it up very nice. He absolutely does. He knows how to move around that ring. And he's got a great coach in Sosa. Sosa, good friend of mine in the New York boxing circuit, does an, doing a great job with a lot of fighters. He got Colbert. He got, um, what's Nikita. his name? Nikita. He's got um, Rashad, Mati, uh, those three for sure. He used to have Richardson Hitchens. He, he groomed him. Um, who else did he have? 
Big Baby Miller for a little bit. Big Baby Miller. But, you know, Sosa definitely did his thing in the amateurs, and now all his guys are professional, doing very well. So stay tuned. Look out for anybody. All top dogs now. You know, in that, in that camp. Uh, then we have uh, then we have uh, Edgar Berlanga. Oh yeah, knockout artist right there, man. Yeah, like the monster dude. from yep. Brooklyn. I've you know just just so you know I've known I watched all these kids come up from little JOs to you know to where they are today, and it's great to see them succeed. You know they were they were kicking ass in the amateurs as little kids. Uh, they were little stars then, so you knew that they were gonna be stars. Yeah. You know, Blake. You know any uh, anybody in um New York circuit now that you think is gonna be something? Um, I know Dante. It's pretty much it. Dante. That's right. He, he's good. Shout out to Dante. He just won the nationals. What's Dante's? What's his last name? Lane. Lane. Dante Lane. And our yeah. coach, uh, Coach Kenyatta, Kenyatta, my boy Kenyatta. Yeah. Yeah, man. They did well at the nationals. Yeah. He took the nationals this year. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah, that kid's good. Got, yeah, that kid's got promising career. He's tall. Career. He's sharp. He's yeah. one sixty five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. He's sharp. I think I seen him fight in the nationals on on the live stream. Yeah, he's good. He yeah. won. Really good. Yeah, so look out for Dante too. Dante Lane, he's out of uh, Rockaway Ropes in Queens with Kenyatta. Kenyatta. <laughs> Who else? Who else we got out there right now? Who else is fighting? What's coming up? I know Marcus Brown's going to fight. Oh, See, Marcus Mar- Brown. Brown. Yeah. And Marcus Brown's Another my boy. Brown. Uh, Staten Island. See, Mar- See, Marcus Brown, he had, I think, he won his last fight, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But for some reason, he's just a lot a lot of time off. He hasn't had, he had too much Him time off. Him and Joe should fight, I feel like. They've been sparring partners for for years. That yeah. fight might you happen. Think that fight will happen. I don't, I don't know. know. Have, I don't you, think have so. you seen any of the sparring between them? Yeah, yeah, very competitive. You know, very competitive. that'll be a, that'll be a, a you know action packed fight. That'll be great. I don't think Marcus Brown could get fights. I don't think no one wants to fight. That's him. another thing. He's he's very um, yeah, it's hard I to think find he could be him. Caleb. If he, they yeah. fight, yeah. Well, Marcus is like, a boxer Mar- too, Mar- and he could like- punch. You know what, man? I really feel like Marcus Brown could take over that division too, but I just feel like he no needs to be more active. He does have it. Yeah, but yo, the thing is, can he be active? Can he get those fights? We that's don't the, know. That's true. That's the thing. Seeing him get fights, opportunities. Yeah. You know, to display everyone his has talent. a hard time getting fights, man. But like, I don't think they just want to give him that opportunity. I think they're making it hard for him. Right too much now. of a threat. Too Absolutely. much of a threat. No one wants to take that risk against him, man. Yeah. Well, shout out to Marcus, man. You know, yeah, shout out to Marcus. Definitely one of the top fighters in the world as well. Let's see who else we got to talk about. Let's see. You ever heard of Connor Ben? No, I haven't. Oh, oh his dad's shoot. Nigel Ben. He's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. His dad's Nigel Ben. You know, he was a veteran yeah. back in the day. I remember him and uh, Chris Eubank. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. old Chris Eubank. They had a, they had that rivalry going yeah, on. Yeah, man. You know? Two. And, I, and, you know, I really want to see that that rivalry, for, you know, be passed on, dude. Like, that would yeah. be, be great. That would be cool. That might happen. Yeah. That that'd... definitely might happen. Then we got Bivol. Bivol's fighting this guy Richards. Oh, Bivol's from, fighting. Yeah, this guy's some Richards from, from Britain. British. Britain. Rich, Richards what? Can I see that? Um, I don't know. It says I might know him. This guy right here. Oh, Craig Richards. Yo, I know Craig Richards. Yo, I'm friends with him on Facebook. He's Is he cool. good? Yeah. yeah, dude. He's he's real good. I think he just won some um, British title or something. Okay, so that's Bivol's next fight. Craig Spiders Richards or something like that. Yeah, he he's... Beat yeah, 16-1-1. One one. Yo, honestly, I don't think he's going to beat Bivol. Yeah, that guy's nah, really good. A, he's a monster. Bivol's a monster. just different. He's a he's different, different type of boxer. I think he's quicker than... Than Craig Richards, but you know Craig Richards has a heavy hand. You could yeah. tell he's a heavy handed guy. Everyone's got punches, and he's tough, dude. Yeah. He's tough, but you know that's gonna be his most difficult fight. Definitely, well, he fought for sure. Joe, so it's like he could take power. Yeah, no, he could take power for sure, but definitely take Joe cracked his shit and almost put him out, dude. So yeah, but nice. Joe's also yeah. like one of the hardest hitters in he his is. division. So. He is. You know they're coming out with a video game, a boxing game. Yeah, I'm hype, man. What game? It's been years. I don't know the name of it, but it's definitely going to. be... Hopefully they bring back Fight Night. I'm yeah, Fight Night to is that. a good nah, but, fucking game. Yeah, but it's gonna be it's gonna be just like Fight Night. It's yeah. gonna be yeah, it's the newest. They're version. gonna have like Joe Smith in there. The, yeah, well, so I was talking to Joe's dad. We were at the um, Jimmy's Diner in uh, Shirley, and. Uh, he was telling me he's like, yeah, man, he's got a deal with the video game. Oh shit! Yep, That's so cool. you could play him, and you could you gotta pay to you know you gotta pay for your fighters. So you know how like on Fortnite you gotta pay for like skins. Yeah. So in this new game, oh, cool. you could buy your boxer. So he's okay. like, yeah, every time you know you buy him or whatever, he gets a cut. So that's good, good for Joe. Shout out to him for being. Great. I'll be Joe. I want to knock motherfuckers <laughs> out. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, let me use Joe. Joe. I'll definitely uh, definitely cool. do that. But that's that cool. I'm really looking cool. forward to that game. You know what I'm looking forward to? What? Andy Ruiz. Oh, fighting he's coming back. Yo, he's training with Canelo, yep. man. He's fighting with Canelo. Yeah, he's looking, yo, he looked like he shed a, a, a lot of weight. He's looking cut right now, dude. Yeah. 
He's looking cut. He's looking mean. So you've been, been watching him. I've been watching him. I've been watching him. I, I see him hitting the bag. And so he's got power, speed. Oh, he was already it's, explosive, but yeah. I think training with Canelo. And it's just put him on a different level. Put him on a different yeah. level. You should Eddie see his Reynoso, legs. you know. His legs are like like this, ripped, yeah. ripped. Boulders. Yeah, he's in, he's in really good shape right now. So I look forward to seeing the return of Ruiz, man. He's fighting. Yo, Chris Ariola is always game. I love Chris because he always yeah. comes. He comes fight. You know Chris Ariola? No, he's not a, really familiar with him. He's a Mexican American dude. He, I think he was even world champion at one time, um, but it's gonna be a tough fight. Two Mexicans okay. going at it. Who, who's he fighting? He's fighting uh, Andy Ruiz versus Ariola. Oh, okay, yeah, not, Chris Ariola. Yeah. yeah, so that's gonna be good. When is that? That's gonna be um, I think it's this Saturday at nine o'clock. Oh, that's gonna be good. How many rounds is that? Ten. It's gonna be no, tw- it's twelve round. Twelve round fight. Okay. Who do you think is gonna win? I think Ruiz Andy. is, is going to win. And he's been training hard, man. Yeah. I think he stops him. Yeah. He's going to make a statement. Who do you think he should fight after that? I, I want to see yo, whoever's Dillian champ. White. I know you want that fight. That'll be a, that'll that be would, really exciting. Yeah. I watched that. I know he wants that fight. But I think I think Andy wins that one, too. I don't think so. Andy's a bad dude, man. He had a one bad fight. Do you think... I feel like Ty, he's going to have to fight Tyson Fury if he gets to that point, right? Yeah. You think he can beat him? Dude, I, yo, Fury? he's a good boxer, bro. Tyson Fury? Yeah. I don't think I don't think Fury would take that fight. I think he would. Just thinking he's explosive. like explosive. I think he to me. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I oh, keep cutting good. you off. No, I I feel like <laughs> Tyson Fury moves too well, and I feel like he's gonna think like he's short. Yeah. So Tyson Fury can just move on him. Yeah. I, I think he like would Tyson take the fight. Fury has been exposed to body shots. Okay. I feel like that's his weakness is getting hit to yeah, the body. Yeah, but if he if he took Deontay Wilder, why would he be scared because to fight Because Deontay Andy? Wilder's a headhunter, dude. Everything he throws is a one-two, a two, a, a wild-ass hook. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Also like he the- opened up Wilder and exposed him. It's He's just on yeah. a different level. Yeah, you know? but see, What do you that- think about the glove thing? The whole glove. The I don't glove, believe that, it. That's bullshit. That's yeah, bullshit. That's I don't bullshit. believe it either. I don't think no. Tyson Fury is the kind of person. You know how you how you could you know everything don't gotta be tightly squeezed when you throw. Right. You know you could he's flick always, it out. He's flicking, he's he flicking flicks, it he out always, there. You know he's trying to he put something flicks, in his yeah. face. You know you could zoom in on every a lot of fighters and and try to capture that angle yeah. to make you look bad. So now I don't. Yeah, I, mean, I don't I'm think not he's even, that type of fighter. Yeah, I don't. I just want to see what you guys thought. I don't pay that no mind, but I feel like. Andy Ruiz is a sound boxer, body puncher, head puncher. He's got good movement. He definitely mixes it up. Real good nice. defense, and he got explosive power. So that yeah, he poses a threat to any heavyweight. But I think he is the fastest heavyweight right now. He hits hard. He hits definitely. Hard. Hits no, I hard. saw him. He got like good head movement. People out of the ring. <laughs> yeah, you know what I like about him? He likes to wait, 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 and slip. Bang! Come with the counters. Yeah, and he know? has nice combinations with the counters. Too. He's slick. Like He's Canelo, slick. Canelo has like the combinations with the. Oh, uh, with counters. him training with Eddie Reynoso now, I guarantee you he's gonna be on a different yeah. level. I just don't know if that's enough to beat Tyson Fury though. Still, well, we'll see. It, uh, I don't know if that fight will happen though, dude. I really. I don't, don't think, think it would either. He but has to did. feed at least two to defeat two big names to get something like that. I feel like. Yeah. You know, I. You think he'll fight Joshua again? Do you think Joshua would fight him again? That's the question. I think Joshua would fight anybody. I in that think division. he would. I think he would fight Joshua again. But Josh, I feel like Josh doesn't want. to What's take that the risk. word on Joshua and Fury? What's the, I, I that, heard something about that. Oh, Did they're you, still in negotiations. Yeah. Nothing's it's still inside. in negotiation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think Tyson takes that fight. Fury. Yeah, me too. I, I think Fury takes that. Yep. I think Fury takes it too. You know, we didn't we didn't mention. Wow, well, I definitely want to give a shout out to Jamel Herring, Corum, New York, oh, Long Jamel Island, Herring. Strong shout Island. He just defended his world title against Carl Frampton. Stopped him. Stopped him. Carl Frampton's a serious fighter, a serious contender, world He's champion. He's a vet, too. He's a vet. That was a big step up for Jamel to prove himself. He's in the Crawford camp with them boys. You know they work hard. Definitely him training with Crawford put him to a different level, you know? Absolutely. But he's been with them since, day. I think, day one, you know? Yeah? Yeah, I think one. he's been with them for a long time. He's an Olympian. Crawford's nasty, man. Yeah, Crawford. Crawford's the best fighter in the world right now. Crawford's you think so? Crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Crawford? Really? Yeah. He just doesn't get the 30. opportunities. For some reason, he's not marketed right. I think Crawford could move up, too. He will. He will for that big fight. He will. Definitely. How about we talk about some women's boxing? Let's get some women's boxing going. <laughs> Katie Taylor. We, got we will, but we can't shit. yet because we still have Haney versus Linares. Oh, Haney. Haney's coming back to now, fight again. Who, let me go. ask you a question. Linares. Who did Linares fight Linares last? fought. Well, you know, he he dropped Lomachenko. Remember that? Lamar, yeah, yeah, he did. Remember when yeah. he dropped Loma? Mm-hmm. I remember that. That was good. Me and Lamar. Christian were like, "What?" 
Yeah, Linares is tough, man. And that's that's a step up fight, I think, because Linares is a vet. That's a step up fight for Haney. Just to yeah. prove himself. It'll be a good one. I, I think, think Haney I think, wins. I think Haney wins, but let's see him fight Tio. Tio Fimo. Tio Fimo. That's He's gonna be good. a good one. Tio Fimo's explosive, one. man. I don't think he'll sit in the pocket with Tio. I don't nah. think. I don't, I don't think, think anyone would. I don't. Yeah. I don't he's know. Gonna, he's gonna have a long night of boxing with Tio. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah! He's gonna have a long night. But Tio has got a tough fight in um, George. Cause I don't even know how to say this guy's Casillas? name. Casillas. Casimo or whatever. Let me so. see. It's on my phone. George Casimo. I'll tell you. He's from Australia. He's a tough fighter. He's no slouch. That's gonna be a definite. A definite Yo, let's good see. Clash. Let's see Tio versus Gervonta or something. Well, this he's Tio's got to get past George this next fight. Yeah, he's got to get past him. I first. think he'll. I think he'll do that. But let's see him fight another heavy hitter. Let's see him go toe to toe, bang out. Let's see what he's made of, right? Yeah, no. Let's see him. Him and Haney, that'll be good. I think. Um, who else is in Tio's division? We got Gervonta. Yeah, Gervonta. Yeah. I don't think he was sitting in the pocket with Gervonta. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't, don't know. think that would happen. Javante's a very good boxer too, you know. But he can get hit. he gets hit. I don't he think Javante. He don't want to get sit in the pocket with Tio. No, I don't. That's, know. I, I, that's I don't think fight. neither one of them are gonna. I feel like I feel. I like think it's like, T, I think Tio takes the chances more than Javante does. But I still think it's not gonna be the fight that everyone thinks it's gonna be. You think no, it's, it's gonna, gonna be like? I think it's like you're gonna try and chess it. You, they you, they, they don't want to get hit by each other. You think? Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like they're scared of each other. We'll see. We'll see. I you can't know wait. what? You could be right about that. That yeah. could that could happen like that. that they don't want to exchange with each other. Yeah, you know? th- but I think they're two dogs. You know, they I think they're gonna dogs. fight for what what they want. You know. Yeah, but I feel like they're gonna fight in a different way. Like we're seeing it nah, as like a total I, brawl. I know, I know what you're talking yeah. about. You think it's gonna be a chess match because they don't want to feel each other's power. I know. That's gonna be a good fight though. When that it would happens. be a good that fight. would be a, that's a fight. How I about feel Ryan like... Garcia? Ryan Garcia. He just beat Luke Campbell. What do you think yeah. about him calling out Pacquiao and stuff like that? You know, that's all. That's all troll. He's trolling. That's all troll stuff. He's a troll. See, the thing with Ryan is he's a great marketer. He knows he could talk all the stuff he wants, and it's not gonna happen. And nobody's gonna care if it don't happen. They'll still watch him. You know, mm-hmm. so that's like me saying, "Yo, I want to fight Floyd, son. I'm fighting Floyd." And I was like, "Yo, this guy's crazy. He's fighting. I know I'm not gonna fight Floyd." Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm, not, I'm just saying it. Logan Paul, how about that? No, that's not gonna happen. No, I thought that's happening. That's not gonna happen. That's that's mm. corny. I thought it's already set up. Nah, they they canceled that. Oh, they canceled it. Yeah, Floyd they, canceled. Logan's it. trying to re like reignite that. Oh wow. They, they, Floyd, Floyd don't even want to deal. Floyd with don't want to give nah. him all that money for no reason. That's nah, what yeah. it is. It's not gonna happen. I want to see Floyd and Pacquiao again. How about that? I see that. That'd be great. Would they fight again? I don't even think Mayweather. I don't. Fight I, don't him again. I don't think Mayweather's gonna. Fight. I think yeah. he's gonna do whatever his little exhibitions that he's yeah. doing in Japan. Actually, he's working on something now with a Japan company and Dana White UFC. I think it's what's that company called? Do you remember what it's called? Nah, but he's working with that Japan company. He had a meeting with Dana White and some, you know, that Japan Japanese company, and I think they're gonna set up like a Japanese MMA star. Yeah. Against Floyd in the UFC. Oh, I, that's my wow. that's my guess. You know, when I seen that they had that meeting, I'm like, wait, the only thing that makes sense here is that Floyd fights in the UFC against somebody from Japan that he knows he can beat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So look out for that. Remember, I said this. Uh, also, don't forget about. Um, don't forget about Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, Shakur, you know he's what? Good. He is definitely not getting the recognition he deserves. Yeah, no, he's. he's When's good. the last time he even fought? He can't. I guarantee you, can't he get? Can't even get fights. What? What is he on box rec right now? They're not giving him the credit that he deserves, yeah. man. Yeah, you know, he really. He, he's a he's a star. Last fight he fought and he looked amazing. Um, yeah, right. That was a boxing. Le- that was beautiful boxing. Oh my god! I watched every. I'm like, wow, this kid is really special. That was, I think, the same night that Colbert fought, or like a week apart, and that was like two performances that that really stood out to me. So I'm like these two, these two are next level. They gotta get that. They gotta get more marketing behind them, more exposure. Yeah, definitely. What is, I who feel is like he people, under top rank? No, nah, but he has a fight coming up, and um, it doesn't say the date here, but against a guy named Nak Nakathila. Nak, let me see that. Nakathila. I'm not sure who Nakathila is, but it's coming up soon. Let's see when that date is, June 12th. So his fight, he's coming okay. up June 12th. Uh, Chris Colbert's fighting in a couple weeks, mm-hmm. so they're fighting soon. And after that, I think there'll be there'll be more talked about. There'll be more marketing behind them. I just, yeah, he definitely needs more marketing behind him. I feel like they're doing him wrong right now. Yeah. Well, and, it, I, and I seen something on Instagram about him not getting the recognition that he deserves on box rec and stuff like that. But ESPN even I think he talked about. But you know what? He deserves all the credit that you know yeah. is 
Yeah, he's a good fighter. He had some. Do you think the top fighters would like take the chance with him? I don't know, man. You know, he's he so could, good. He could expose a lot of people, he man. Can. I feel like a lot of people are scared. You know, to do I want to see him and Ryan Garcia. <laughs> that, <laughs> who do you think wins that? Ryan, Ryan Garcia is tall. Ryan's good, but he ain't ready for Shakur. Yeah. yeah. Ryan, I like Ryan, but he's he's definitely he barks more than he he he, he bites off more than he could probably chew. That's why these fights against Devin but Heaney, Ryan's Javante, fast. Pacquiao aren't going to come to fruition because he's just yeah. not ready yet. He's not that level. Not yet. Yo, he, he's I got... I thought he almost got put out with Luke, Luke Campbell. Yeah, Luke, Luke, Luke has exposed. the potential. Absolutely does. He has the potential, 100%. He's just a little young, and he don't have that, that level experience. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's he's at, you know fighting B-level fighters. But once you step to that elite level, all these guys who think they're fucking awesome, they get exposed. You know, they're There's a lot of fighters out there that you know they think, oh, damn, 10-0, and 0, six knockouts, whatever your career is. But then once they step up to the A-level... Some of these guys don't it's make different. it out of they don't make it out of that B level. Elite of the elite, right there. That's why yeah. boxing is important, guys. Like while you're fighting as a pro, you gotta think about Plan B. Even though Plan A is the number one goal, Plan B is important. Whatever it may be, broadcasting, you know, investments, uh, starting businesses are super important. You guys need to do that. Especially if you don't got power. If you don't got power, you better have plan B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need something. You need to make power. It, you need something. You yeah. need Jesus yeah. or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if, if, if Jake Paul stepped in the room with you guys, he needs Jesus. He needs yeah. Jesus in his life. <laughs> Jake, you he better be hitting the church every day with me, uh, bro. Yeah. You know? Ain't no MMA fucking basketball well, player. I'm going to take boy. his head off, dude. Yeah. That's it. Plain and simple. Oh, yeah. He ain't ready. Good night. <laughs> he ain't rated Triller. Shout out to Triller. Shout out Triller, man. Put, on, put me on. Give me yeah. some money. Yeah, put them on. Give us all some money. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't even. I just want to. Just want to prove that he's not a boxer. Yeah, but you know what? He ain't gonna fight a boxer. He ain't gonna do that. If no. he hasn't done it yet, and he hasn't called out any. Nah, he's like, gonna fight a boxer. Boxer. What boxer has he called out? He hasn't called out any even boxer. Know? Oh, Con Connor. Yeah, but That's Connor. Not a boxer. No, no. I'm saying like, okay, a real fight, fighter. a real fighter. Connor's a real fighter. He can step in the ring and box and still beat. Still Connor's beat a decent boxer. He'll beat. He'll beat him. I, I think feel he like did amateur boxing. You know, I think Connor. I feel like that's him. Like what you said with Ryan barking, knowing that nothing's gonna happen. Right. That's trolling. That's how these guys get to the top and I they heard, make their money. I heard Connor sued him. Yeah. I that I, I heard something like that. That Connor actually sued Jake Paul. I don't know if that's all true, but I think. Jake Paul was sued by Conor McGregor, and you know Conor McGregor wouldn't fight him. He Wait, who sued who? Conor sued Jake. Conor sued Jake for I think harassment or something Let's like see. that. You I'll know, check. Jake has there been a funny Jake has video. been trolling Conor yeah. for a long time. There was a funny ass video with him with, with his cape on. Yeah, man. You know <laughs> Jake's a <laughs> Jake's a troll for sure, dude, and yeah. he don't deserve any of that shit that he's getting, man. You know, people been boxing their whole life and can't even make people risk their lives for what Jake's yeah. made, dude. That's true. Nah, you but know? you know what? Look, I don't knock that. Like, I'm good for him. Make your money, but don't say you're a boxer. That's all I care about. Yeah, that's all I care don't, about. Don't disrespect the sport. Don't claim you're a boxer when you never fought a boxer. That's my only thing with the whole. You know thing. what, Jake? Yo, you want to be a boxer so bad? You know what? Let's get some sparring, and the cameras don't even have to be on. Nah, the but cameras got to be on. Yeah, the cameras. Yeah, gonna, I yo, need the cameras on because the whole thing is this look. If you if you're gonna claim this, I'm the I'm a boxer. I do this, then fight a boxer. And if you're not gonna pay them, and you're gonna get sparring, let's put it on film live in front of the cameras on your own sitcom. Let's get that work though, dude. Yeah, let's get. And it's it. cool. We're peaceful, man. Like we we, we could be boys, but my whole he thing. He likes to talk shit too. Yeah, and I like to talk shit too. So Jake, let's get it, man. Let's yeah. get this shit rolling, bro. Yeah. Let's come down here. You no, know, we'll even go to you, Jake. You come we'll to New York. To come to Long Island, Strong Island Boxing Gym. We can do it right here. We'll film it for our vlog. Put it on your vlog, your your show. And no money needs to be involved. We just want to let you know that. You're going to get hit with a fucking real. elbow. That's what he's going to get hit with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this podcast is going great so far, though. Yeah, we're kicking it's it. It's going great, you know? Yeah, having a fun. You having a good time? Yeah, I'm having fun. You having a good time? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Yo, <laughs> Colin's a natural on this mic. Yeah, yeah. I like it. You, I you, guess. You know, you know, you're keeping it going. No, this is yeah. great. See, that's, but see, we got to step up your, your marketing. You got to do more on your social media. Yeah, I know. I've been slacking on that, guys, but you know what? We got to increase this. No, nah, we got to increase it because any anybody, and especially these guys with talent, like real power, like I'm serious, they got power. They'll knock you out quick. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not playing. These guys are talent prospects 
See, so prospects with a little bit of marketing right now in this social media world, you guys could go super far, and we're gonna work on that right now. Yeah, we gotta. We're definitely gonna because we can't be, we can't have other people uh, capitalize that are, are half as talented as you guys. Yeah, you got some bullshit fighters, but have great marketing, and you yeah, know what? They're yeah. on top. And we're gonna no. step it up. We're gonna step it up. We got we got this podcast now. We'll have you guys on more often. I got an editor coming in. I'm a boy, my boy Matt. So we're gonna start doing more like That's footage cool stuff. in the gym, and we're gonna start putting more vlogs out, and uh, we're gonna start you on know, YouTube channels. I got plans. And we're gonna make it happen. All right, that's great. You know, we're gonna film. We're gonna document our um, Carolina Golden Gloves. We're gonna make that a vlog. So we're gonna be just everything we do is gonna be a vlog now. You know, in order to get that exposure, we need to do more oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, like we that. definitely need some stuff like that. You know, all these top dogs are definitely doing that right now. Yeah. And um, that's that. That's like the new marketing. Just yeah. Just Social putting media. everything yeah. out yeah. there, right? Put, Put your reality out there. out there. Yeah. That's it. It's the new thing. Yeah. Let everybody see what's going on with your life. Yeah. Uh, yeah people people tune in. You know, there's people, people love that. Regular TV is getting. Nobody watches that. Like, no who more. watches TV anymore? YouTube's where it's at. You got the zone. Oh, well, let's bring up the zone. You know, that's a great network. Yeah, they're doing a good job. They really yeah, are. I real like good job with that. Triller. I mean, I'll be honest with Triller's uh, production last night. I was, I was, it was. It was trash. It I was didn't, tra I didn't watch it. Was it, but I just saw the it was distasteful. Like I, I like the concept with the, you know, the music artists because say, say you're having a fight night at your house. Mm -hmm. You got the TV on. In between fights, you don't got the commentators talking the whole time. Most people do. They lower the TV. They put on the music. They party. When the fight comes back on, oh, they put the TV on. See, what they did was they had con a concert, different artists performing in between fights. So you could keep the TV up loud. The music's going. It's kind of like a Super Bowl thing. It was corny, right? But it was corny. It was, it was, it was just like it, it only targeted like one audience, the young Young the concept generation. was cool, but it didn't come out the way they visualized it. I think they need, to, it. they need to target a wider demographic. Was the Mike Tyson fight on that? Mike Tyson was on oh, Triller. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. But they had Snoop Dogg on there. That was that was also <laughs> yeah. you know yeah, going... Snoop Dogg's cool. Shout out Snoop, to Snoop Dogg. Snoop's cool. Like Snoop Dogg. Snoop's cool. I like Snoop, but I feel like they're incorporating too much hip hop, and yeah. hip hop isn't isn't um not I love hip hop, but hip hop isn't something that is um for everybody. Yeah, you know what I mean. You got your you have your old school boxing fans, but most most boxing fans are old school fans. They want to tune into these fights, but when it's all this, you know. Twerking, you know, <laughs> you know, smoking, <laughs> smoking weed, and everybody's drinking on the show. Yeah. It just it's distasteful to, yeah, those, to those fans. Shit to the young kids, yeah, and, and the stuff, young kids you know, that want to watch it, they're like, "What, daddy? What's that?" They all smoking weed and they're drinking, and these girls are half naked. You know, I just that's what I, they want to put out there. Come on, Trilla. Yeah, you know? I don't. It's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. Yeah. I'm just keeping it real. They need to take that concept, re re uh, re revise it, and it could be really successful. Cause they, it is a cool concept. That is a really cool concept. I, I think the zone's the best right now. Matchroom boxing and all that. Eddie Hearn, shout out to Eddie Hearn. You know yeah. he's a good dude. You know I think I think that's the best right now. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I like the zone. I like Matchroom. Uh, you know, Top Rank is definitely they, they they do great, amazing shows. I think Shakur's on the top rank. Right? I think they are. Yeah. They're I don't think people rank. could get fights on the top rank, dude. Like I really feel like it's it's kind of hard They're, for you know a what, lot though? of these fighters. But if you're on Top Rank, and you're a star, you become a champion. Yeah. You know, if you want to be a champion, you go to top rank. Mm -hmm. You know, you go if you want to be a champion, you can go to the zone match room. But I think you got a better, think about the, uh, better chance on, on Golden top rank. Boy, um Golden Boy. Golden Boy is only good if you're like a standout fighter. Like I, a Canelo. lot of Mexican fighters are underneath Golden Boy. Yeah, but it's just like I feel like if you're not like an amazing fighter, you're not gonna really go far with Golden Boy. Like they're gonna yeah. they're gonna take you far, but not gonna take you to that next level. Unless you deserve it. Exactly. You know, unless you're really that star. You're just under them. Then they, it. then they, you know, yeah. they, they hold I, on to I you. feel like right now they're trying to look for, like, their next Canelo. In a they sense. definitely well, have some top prospects that are not getting fights. Yeah. I've been seeing this a lot lately, you know? Yeah. It's kind of hard for a lot of these prospects to get fights. Or even, like, Shakur, for instance, man. Like, it's hard for him to get a fight. Like, who is this dude he's fighting? Yeah, I don't know. You don't even yeah, know. know. And he deserves to be fighting all these top dogs. And I know he wants to. He does. Yeah, he definitely could. Well, his, their time's coming. Too. You know, COVID, COVID slowed things down, too. We got to take that into consideration. A lot of people aren't getting the fights they want because they probably want to fight in front of a crowd. So they're holding off a little bit like, uh. But um, Golden Boy, go back to Golden Boy. They got Ryan Garcia, and they got that other kid that fought. 
Virgil Ortiz. Yes, yes. Yep. Yo, Virgil. He's a, he's a savage. He's a knockout artist too. That's a heavy hitter right there. He trains at a Robert Gar Garcia Academy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think he does. The thing with them is that I feel like they they want to push Virgil Ortiz more than they want to push Ryan Garcia because mm -hmm. I think there's conflict in between uh, De La Hoya and and um, and Ryan Garcia. Yeah, I respect Virgil. Virgil's humble, man. Yeah. He is. He is a humble cat. He don't talk no shit. And he comes to fight. He comes to fight. <laughs> he comes to, he's exciting. I saw I was, first time I saw him fight was last week. Uh, a yeah? couple weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, I've been following him for a long time, him and Robert Garcia. You know what? Like Brandon Rios, the fighter I'm named bam, bam. after. Yeah. Bam bam. <laughs> I've been following those cats for a long time, man. Shout out to Robert Garcia Academy. They got some killers out there, you know. They train hard for sure. Yep. They definitely do. Robert's uh comes from a lineage of um uh, Fighters in his family, yeah, definitely for sure. Mikey Garcia too. I wonder when we're gonna see him fight next. Yeah, yeah, he's working on it. I think he took some time off for himself because he yeah. got a little heavy. You could tell he's like just chilling. Oh yeah, I think he walks around heavy. Yeah, you know? yeah. now he's back. I think he's training again, getting ready for that comeback. That's another natural fighter right there. Just yeah, he's he has sharp. that talent. Good. You know, you gotta give him credit too. He, he took that step up against Errol, not even in yeah. his weight class. Yeah, you know, Errol's Errol's for a, sure, man. He's a fighter. That's what he does at the end of the day. That's you know? right. That's right. He, he he wants to entertain people. He's a fighter, man. That's what. And it's a about. lot of these guys, they don't want to. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do it like Mikey. They don't want to do it like that, man. And it's upsetting. Yeah. We wanna, need the old boxing to come yeah, back. They want to want to see these fights. Yeah. You know? They want to protect their records. They want to be unblemished. But you know, in the eighties and the nineties, these guys the fought, fought everybody. The Macho fought everybody. Hagler fought yeah. everybody. Sugar Ray fought everybody. They all had losses. Duran fought everybody. They all had losses. But you know what? But they're, they're known as the greatest. They're still the greatest. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They went. They went and they fought. Yeah. You know, today is a lot. A very uh, boxing is more defensive than it's. It's. It was defensive. Mayweather but it, like started that a little bit. Kind of like yeah, he, he, well he he introduced that you don't have to get hit to win. You know what I mean? He introduced that. Not style. even that he 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 put the business aspect into it. Like you ain't gotta fight the best right now. You can fight him when he can't do the things. He Cherry do picker. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Fight this guy now, and then fight this guy later on. So you still have the name on your resume. Yeah, you true. still Make that money. I mean, but he still fought. He still you can't take. Yeah, nothing he, away fought from he fought everybody. He fought everybody. You know, even when I feel he fought like he them. fought everyone. At the right, at the right, the right time, time. Like, yeah, and there was yeah, look, look. Shane almost had him out. Yeah, rock, rocked him. Him and Zab had a good fight. Zab was competitive. Uh, he fought, he fought Pacquiao. Pacquiao still competitive. He stopped. He beat the Keith Thurman at forty one years old. Maybe Keith was Thurman's on a different out. level though. So yeah, but I don't but, care when he fought all these guys. He fought a lot of a, names. What about Emmanuel Augustus? Oh man, he's a crafty. He was a crafty dude. Yeah, yeah. I liked him a lot. Hell yeah, the way he moved. It was different, but I liked it. Oh, I think my favorite old great. school fighter man was Floyd Patterson. Floyd Patterson? Yeah, I feel like he, he developed that peekaboo style, you know? That was the first person to ever really do that, man. Yeah. That gazelle hook, that lead left hook that, you know, you see Mike Tyson throwing right. a lot. And those guys trained upstate New York, yeah. you know? Yeah. Those guys are real That's right. tough they, tra they trained together. Yep, they trained together. You know, he was the first... Uh, who else? I met Joe Floyd. Lewis. I met Floyd Joe, Lewis. Lewis. Joe, Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis is another lot. heavy hitter, man. His straight man. right his, was beautiful. His story, man, fighting. Yeah. Dude, he, he's another great fighter, man. Robinson, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Robinson was great, too, man. Accurate, very fast. Very fast, powerful. Yep. Always. So, you know what I like about you, too? You guys know, you know your history. Yeah. You know boxing. And that's what I tell everybody. If you want to be great, you got to watch Boxing definitely, you got to pull stuff off these fighters, man. You, gotta, you, gotta, you just gotta, you gotta throw it in the training, and you know, it, it start everything I, comes together. It really does, man. And everything, even when you're sparring, it slows down. You get more relaxed. Yeah, I've been and telling everything just comes together. I've been telling him since I trained him. I was like, I want you to watch him this week. I want you to watch him this week. Take something from these guys, emulate their style, make it your own. And they've been doing that. You know, yeah. whether whether it was because I told them or because they do it on their own, it helps fighters develop. It doesn't mean you you want to be like that fighter. It just means that there's some tools that work, and then you try them. And if it doesn't work for you, you don't use it. But you implement a lot of these different things, and you become a sound, well-rounded fighter. It's important to watch other fighters. I tell people that all the time. That's how I developed as an amateur. I used to watch Macho. I used to watch Floyd. I used to watch De La Hoya. I used to watch Sugar Ray. I used to watch uh, numerous fighters, and I would go in the ring. I would go in the gym, work on my movement that they did, that I saw, and I would use it in sparring, and it would work. There was a fight one time, Floyd fought Corrales. He fought a triple left hook. He threw a triple left hook. Yeah. And it and it, it, rocked, it rocked him. 
You know who did that too? Roy Jones. The Roy Jones up. did the all the doubles hook right there. Double right, double. Yeah. And left. it worked. So I fought this kid in Harlem in the Golden Gloves, and it was like a stagnant fight. It was nothing was really going on. It was it was an even fight. And I said in my head, I gotta do something to change the change the dynamic here. So I remembered. I went into my toolbox in my brain. Triple left hook. I did it. But I gave him a bonk. I waited a second. Bonk. I, another second. Bonk. A count. Shit. Boom. It worked. That's why I say tell people go into those go into that toolbox. But yeah. um, I know. also feel like if you want to be in the sport, you have to be kind of part of it and know the sport it's like a lifestyle, and enjoy it. Man. You have to you have to love the sport to be part of it. Not you know? only do you watch fighters, man, you follow these interviews. You know, not even that becomes boxing. Not even that. It's like, like you, you kind of have to kind of like watch these fighters and like love watching it. You have to be into well, it. Well, yeah, that's if, if you're, you're a boxing, but man, not like, even that. if you're a fighter, like you have to love fighting. Yeah. If you well, don't love fighting, you're not going to have the hunger for it. You're not. Yeah, well, what I'm trying to say, man, is like everything becomes boxing at the end of the day. Yeah. You follow these interviews, you yeah. follow these fighters, the training. you follow these promoters, you follow what they do, what they yeah. eat. Everything becomes boxing. And, and you know what? Boxing is a great sport, man. Oh, man. It's not for everybody, though. You nope. got to have some heart. You got to be a fighter to do this, you yeah. know? Definitely. It's not for everybody. It's one of those things, though, if you, and even if you don't become a professional fighter, even fight amateur, the boxing lifestyle can change your life. Definitely. You know, it gives you structure, it gives you discipline, it uplifts you, puts you in a great mood. You know, once you once you learn the art, even if you're not going to fight, that confidence you get from knowing that you know how to punch right. The mental clarity. Oh, man, boxing is amazing for everybody. And that's why I opened up the gym is because I knew that I'll be able to help people. You know, even if you don't want to become a fighter, I know People doing these classes, learning the art, it was going to change their life for the better. And I see it every day. I see people's attitudes just when they come in from when they first join to three weeks, four weeks, a month, two months later. Their spirit is so alive. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a fighter and you're nasty and you live in this boxing lifestyle, you become successful in life, period. You know how to navigate through relationships. You know how to navigate through careers. And if... You're an excellent boxer. You can become a world champion. There's so many sure. great things. So many great things that come from boxing. Saved my life. I've been doing this since I was a kid. Um, you know, fighting, owning gyms, training fighters. And uh, it's, I'm still doing it to this day. It keeps me alive. And boxing is just great in general. Yeah. It is. It's just different. The art totally of it, too. Different. The art of it. And you know everything. what? You know what boxing also is great about? Boxing has white, black, Puerto Rican, Asian, Indian. I mean, Every culture. And, and isn't it crazy how each and every one of these cultures they have like a different style, different yeah. style. But my but my point. Let me get to my point. It's, it's crazy. Weird. There's, it's weird, right? There's there's culture, there's color, there's race, all mixed in, right? And when you go when when we're at the boxing show, it's not all white. It's not all black. No, it's ev a little bit of everything. Guess what? Yeah. Everybody gets along. Yep. Boxing is a great example how humans are just all the same. When you go to a boxing event. Everybody gets along. It's, all, it's just a great example of peace in the, in the world. So when you see this stuff on TV, oh, we have a racial divide. When you go to the boxing shows, do we see a racial divide? Hell no. Hell no. You see love. At a boxing events, you see love amongst all cultures, colors. Especially to these boxing shows. What's going especially on after world? a fight. After a fight. After a fight, the, you just see the love and compassion for each person. You yeah. Know? Even the fighters. The fighters, they fight. come up to you like, yo, that was a great fight. Win, right. win lose, or draw. It's like you a don't fighter, see color. A fighter respects a fighter, and everyone respects a you fighter. You got to respect you know? anyone that steps yeah. in that ring. Man. Exactly. Absolutely. Okay. You know what it takes. Yeah. It's just different. Yeah. But the world should look at boxing as an example for how we could all just get along. That's it. I I swear by that, you know? Yeah, I feel like peace That's why I hate when I watch TV and they're like, oh, you know, there's hate this, hate that. It's so it's so small compared yeah. to the main, the big picture. There's so much more love in this world and peace and unite, un unity than there is hate and division. Because yeah. if you, I, told, I said this on my last podcast with my dad. Think about this. There's hundreds of stadiums in America. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer, hockey, sports all over the country, right? Mm -hmm. There's all cultures in every stadium, every night, every day of the week. Do you ever hear of any freaking racial tension at any of yeah. these events? No. They all clap and celebrate for their team together as one. But see, we don't we don't we don't we don't put that in perspective. Yeah. 
doesn't that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Right? Hundreds of I stadiums. Like to end racism, we gotta stop talking about racism. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Stop pu pushing it on the media. Yeah, stop pushing that stuff, it's man. It's not enough there. Enough of this shit, There's man. always gonna be isolated cases. There's always gonna be a, a bad cop. But for the majority of the cops, there's great cops around this world. They protect us, you know? Um, black on black crime. Yeah, there's black on black crime. There's white on white crime. There's Spanish. There's crime all over. But if we magnify it, that's all we're going to feel. We got to magnify and we got to project the positive, the great things that are going on. How about we talk about there was 50,000 people at Super Bowl and everybody got along. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They're not going to focus on that. It's, that's that's huge. Yeah. You it's, know? And it's also pretty ironic how like, like you have like these teams beating the crap out of each other. You got like boxers fighting each other, such violence. But at the end of the day, you show that ev it shows that everyone's still together and everyone still loves each other. And it's like, I yeah. don't know. I think it's a pretty cool thing to see how like you're watching these that people thing brings them together. Yeah, yeah. like you see these people beating their like using violence to kind of just like come together and like have nothing different with each other right they pray at the end of the games they hold hands somebody gets hurt both teams care you know and that's true humanity and we can see that through sport sport is a great way to definitely for sure look at life you know everybody should look at life through the lens of athletes and, and there's sports. so many sports out there man yeah. there's so yeah. many just if you're not doing any sports just look at a sport that interests you man and just get get involved in that thing yeah yeah you know it could change your life Check out my boy Colin's outfit. He got the he got the cowboy boots. Oh yes, sir. You know he's always got his cowboy hats on. Yep. That's why I call him Long Island Cowboy. Bam, oh, bam. Yeah. Colin Clark. Up and coming. Blake, Blake. I call Blake. Well, I always tell I always tell Blake. One day he's gonna be on GQ magazine with a world title on his shoulder. I always yep. tell him that. I said, remember I said that's gonna happen. GQ magazine with a with a belt on him. Yep. Look at that haircut. Colin's gonna be. <laughs> Colin's gonna be on like what? What's that? Um, that track the trailer company. Oh my god! Is on it a deer? Is it deer? He's gonna be on a John Deere with magazine. With the more international guy, if those if those of you understand. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. international, no Hold, doubt. Yeah. Holding the freaking belt on the track. Right on the track, yeah, yeah, I see it. And his overalls. Hey, throw me on a Ford commercial. <laughs> yeah. Get over here, but give me F three fifty. Hell oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this up. All that right. was a great episode. We're gonna we're gonna do many more. You know, we'll actually do them in the ring. We'll do some stuff, you know, by the boxing bags. Right. Different atmosphere. But you guys did great. Uh, I know this is both your first podcast, right? Yep. I'm glad. I'm glad it was me. I'm proud of these two kids. Um, I look forward to really taking them to the top. Remember, I said this. Two world champions right here from Long Island, Strong Island Boxing. It's your boy. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.